Hello folks, uh, once again. So this is 2017 February March session, paper 2-2 and the question number is 2. The first question states, uh, ask us to uh, state the principle of conservation of momentum. So it is simply that uh, the total momentum of a system of particles is uh, constant, uh, provided that uh, um, no external force acts on them. So it's a, uh, you can just uh, cram it uh, up from the textbook or from your pre-existing knowledge. So I'm not uh, I'm going to uh, throw my time on this. So let's start from number B. Two blocks A and B, so A and B, are on a horizontal frictionless surface. So horizontal frictionless surface. The blocks are joined together by a spring. So this is the spring which joins the blocks together. The block A has mass 4.0 kg, 4.0 kg, and the block B has mass 6.0 kg, 6.0 kg. The variation of the tension F with the extension X of the spring is shown in figure 2.2. So if we extend the spring uh, by th this way or this way, uh, <coughs> the uh, variation of tension force F with extension is somewhat like this. So you can see the uh, pattern. So <coughs> at uh, when extension is about 10 centimeter, the force developed there is about, uh, it is uh, not about exactly 15.0 Newton. Now, the main question start from the uh, next uh, page. The two blocks are held apart so that the spring has an extension of eight centimeters. So, what it says is, what it says is, uh, we have the spring here. So we held hold it apart like this, like this, such that the extension is uh, <coughs> eight centimeter. Now, the first question is uh, show that the elastic potential energy of the spring at an extension of eight centimeter is uh, zero point four eight joule. So when you extend it, extend it. We have to find that uh, the elastic potential energy stored is 0.48 joules. So this can be obtained from the graph here. The graph here, since the graph belongs to F and X, which is the <coughs> force and extension, extension, the area uh, covered by the graph, covered by the graph till that 8 centimeter gives us the value of the potential energy. So what we have to do is. So we have to find the area till 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 here, which is 8.0 centimeter, zero centimeter. So 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 so, uh, we have to find this area, this area, which I am shading uh, by means of the red here, red color. So find the area of this thing. So this area is equal to area is equal to one by two into base into height equal to one by two. The base is this much, which is eight centimeter. This 8 centimeter is 8.0 into 10 to power minus 2 meters. Meters and height is from here to here. So this thing should be, should be, should be, should be, should be. Say so this is 10 and this is 15. Uh, this should be 11. This should be uh, 12. So it's equal to into 12.0 Newton. So when I do the uh, calculations here, it will be uh, 1 by 2 is 0.5. So 0 0.5, uh, 0 0.5 into 8 exponent minus 2 into 12 equal to so this becomes 0 0.48 so it is 0 0.48 joules so area equal to this much so therefore the energy stored is also equal to 0 0.48 joules Joule. so uh, this is uh, uh, this thing is displacement or distance meters and uh, this thing is uh, newton so newton meter is equal to joule now the next question we have we have the blocks are released from rest at the same instant so when i pull it like this and then we release it so it comes like this when the extension of the stream becomes zero block a has a speed uh, va and block b has speed vb so initially they will be at rest and as they come nearer uh, since we have extended it, extended here they will accelerate towards each other and uh, when the extension becomes zero so at neutral point let us say at neutral condition the block A has a speed VA and block B has speed VB. For the instant, when the extension of the spring becomes zero, use conservation of momentum to show that kinetic energy of block A by kinetic energy of block B is equal to 1.5. So uh, let us use uh, conservation of momentum here. So the initial momentum is equal to zero, zero, equal to. So initial momentum, when you pull like this, it is zero. Then they go like this. Then they go like this. That means, that means, that means this A, uh, this A, so this thing is A, this will be going in this direction. So that means its momentum will be equal to MAVA. 
va and uh, this thing will be going like this so it should be equal to minus mb vb because during the study of conservation momentum what we did was we uh, we had a rule that unofficial rule that the objects going to the right will have a positive direction and to the left will have negative direction so i have this so this gives me this gives me m a v a is equal to m b v b and which further gives me now if i use the values here values here this m a is equal to 4 4.0 v a is equal to this is 6.0 so 6 v b which further gives me v a by v b is equal to is equal to 6 by 4 is equal to 1.5 1.5 then after that what I need to find is this so I have this k e of a by k e of b is equal to 1 by 2 m a v a square by 1 by 2 m b v b square equal to this goes so it is m a by m b like this and this is v a by v b like this squared equal to m a by m b is equal to m a is 4 it is 6 into this is 1.5 square so when i do this so this thing will be 1 by 1.5 this is 1.5 square so it will be equal to 1.5 which is the answer as in the requirement now in number two use the information in b1 and b21 so b1 is this and b21 is this to determine the kinetic energy of block a it may be assumed that the spring has negligible ke and that uh, air resistance is negligible so what you have to do is what has happened here is the elastic potential energy that it had in the beginning it had in the beginning was changed to changed to ke of a plus k of b according to the principle of conservation of energy the potential energy that was in the beginning was changed to was changed to convert it to k of the two things so that's equal to so from here what i can have is from here i can write from this ratio from this equal to this ratio i can write a keb is equal to kea by 1.5 so this k a is k a it's okay plus kb is equal to kea by 1.5 that's equal to this is 1.5 this is 1.5 kea plus kea which is equal to or 0 0.48 is equal to it is 2.5 so 2.5 kea by 1.5 so or it gives us kea is equal to 0 0.48 into 1.5 divided 2.5 equal to so let's do its calculation uh, so uh, 0 0.48 into 1.5 by 2.5 so that becomes equal to equal equal to 0 0.288 joules so when i write it in 3 sf it is 288 and if 2 sf it will be equal to 0 0.29 joules now the next question the last question the last one says that the blocks are released at time t equal to 0, of course. On figure 2.3, sketch a graph to show how the momentum of block A varies with time t until the extension of the spring becomes 0. Numerical values of momentum and time are not required. So, what we have is, we have the spring is like this. Uh, so, let me go for the spring here. We have the spring, spring, spring is like this. So, this is how the spring has been so let me fold the paper properly so the spring has been extended like this so initially the velocity is zero so if velocity is zero the momentum is zero so the graph will start from here start from here and then it comes like this it comes like this so uh, uh, it comes like this so that means the velocity increases velocity increase means that the momentum also increases so from here velocity is zero here velocity is zero and when it comes like this velocity increases and ultimately uh, ultimately uh, when it is uh, when the extension is zero at that time the velocity will be maximum so here we have got to uh, velocity zero and it comes like this the velocity goes on increasing so what we have is initially velocity zero momentum is zero and finally velocity is uh, maximum which means momentum is 
maximum is maximum now what now happen it should happen is so initially uh, the force was very high force high means acceleration is high so a high means that the change of uh, rate of change of v should be high in the very beginning force is high because it is in the full extended state force is high force high means a high a high means that the rate of change of v should be high and the rate of change of momentum should be high so initially rate of change of momentum should be high but later on extension is less so f is less so f less means a less a less means that uh, the rate of change of velocity is less that means rate of change of momentum is less so that means initially that means so in your extension state the rate of change of momentum should be high and here it should be less so that means it must go somewhat like this like this like this like this like, like this and at the maximum maximum momentum or velocity the rate should be zero because at the time force equal to zero for so the force zero means the rate of change of momentum should be zero at the very final point when the extension is zero so when is extension is maximum f is maximum that means rate of change of momentum is high force decreases that means rate of change of momentum decreases though momentum is high here momentum is highest but the rate of change of momentum will be zero that means the slope should be zero so this should be the nature of the graph nature of the graph here it should be exactly horizontal at the maximum point